Hello, everyone. I hope you are doing well and that you are doing well. We are here with another educational video. In this educational video, we want to continue explaining constraints or constraints. I will draw a sketch on the front page. And now we want to make the constraints equal and symmetrical and so on. Let me explain the term make meet my win line to you. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll come here with the title. For example, I'll draw a line here to a length. For example, I'll give it a length of 30 millimeters. This is 300 millimeters long. This is the Sabbath. I'll draw another line. I want these two lines to be equal in length. I'll select this. I'll select this. Select the Make Equal option or press Q on the keyboard. It works. I'll select this. Now, what are these two with each other? They are equal. You can't change their length. Look, it's fixed at 300. This can be the equal clause. The next clause, the symmetric compound clause, for example, I draw a circle here. I draw a circle here. I want these two to be symmetrical with respect to the axis, actually our vertical axis, to be symmetrical. I'll choose this. I'll choose this. I'll choose the axis. I'll choose the metric measurement option. Jordan, these two are completely symmetrical to each other with respect to this axis. We can see. It's as simple as that. What else do we have? The next constraint is actually the midpoint uh, align constraint. For example, you, you draw a line here. You want the center now. You want the end point of this line to be on the center of this, actually, the bottom line. I select this one and I also select that one. Then I choose the midpoint option. Now when I click this, it places this point at the center of the other line. Look, if you move this, this point will always stay aligned with the center of that line. When I move this, see how it shifts while this point remains in this uh, area. Now if you want to make them coincide, it's easy. You select this point, then select this line, and you say coincident, and they will overlap just like that, simply and easily. If you change the length, it will still try to keep that 300 millimeters. Since we applied the equal constraint, all I need to do is select this constraint, and it will relax. Now, for example, I can change the length. Now, no matter how much you change the length, that midpoint still stays right there. This became the constraints in the midpoint align make midpoint align, make symmetric, and equal. Equals actually works on both circles and arcs. In our next video, we'll examine the make equal constraint on circles and arcs, and we'll also look at the tangent constraint. I hope you found this educational video helpful. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until the next video, take care.